Hi there, boys and girls, and welcome back to Conquering Math, where it all adds up. Today we will be discussing the independent practice solutions to part one of the Solving Algebraic Equations lesson. Remember that you can pause or rewind this video as necessary to help you understand the problems. Let's dive on in. Independent practice number one. Determine if the value is a solution of the equation. Part A. 7 plus w equals 45 when w equals 38. Part B. 21 equals 54 minus t when t equals 33. Now is a good time to pause this video and work on this problem if you have not done so already. To start with part A, we need to substitute the number 38 in for w. Remember that we write a question mark above the equal sign until we're sure. So on the left hand side we have 7 plus 38, and on the right hand side we have 45. 7 plus 38 equals 45, so this is a solution to the equation. For part b, we will need to substitute 33 in for t. So on the left hand side we have 21, and on the right hand side we have 54 minus 33. 54 minus 33 is 21, so t equals 33 is a solution to the equation. Independent practice number two. Find a solution to the algebraic equation. Part A, u minus five equals five. Part B, p minus 23 equals 11. Don't forget to check your work for each part of this problem. Now is a good time to pause this video and work on these problems if you have not done so already. Remember that in order to find a solution to the algebraic equation, we need to get the variable by itself on one side of the equation. We can use inverse operations to help us with this. So for part A, we will add 5 to both sides. This leaves us with u equals 10. Now we need to check our work. Start with the original equation and substitute 10 in for u. 10 minus 5 equals 5, so our solution is correct. Now for part b. We have p minus 23 equals 11. We will use the inverse operation and add 23 to both sides. This leaves us with p equals 34. Now we need to check our work. Go back to the original equation and substitute 34 in for p. 34 minus 23 does equal 11, so our solution is correct. Independent practice number three. Find a solution to the algebraic equation. Part A, u plus six equals 12. Part B, h plus four equals 34. Now is a good time to pause this video and work on these problems if you have not done so already. Don't forget to check your work. To solve the equation in part A, we will use the inverse operation to subtract 6 from both sides. This leaves us with u by itself on the left side, and we find that u equals 6. Now to check our work, we go back to the original equation, substitute 6 in for u, and we find that 6 plus 6 does equal 12, so our solution is correct. Now for part b. We will use the inverse operation of subtraction and subtract 4 from each side. This leaves us with h equals 30. To check our work, we go back to the original equation, substitute 30 in for h, and we find that 30 plus 4 does equal 34, so once again, our solution is correct. Independent practice number four. A second grade class is raising butterflies. After seven days in the chrysalis stage, 10 specimens emerge as butterflies and fly away. If there are now 46 specimens remaining in the chrysalis stage, how many specimens did the class have to begin with? Write an algebraic equation and then solve this problem. Now is a good time to pause this video and work on this problem if you have not done so already. Let's start by defining our variable. S will equal the original number of specimens. 
Now for the equation. S minus 10 equals 46. We need to take the original number of specimens and subtract the 10 which emerged as butterflies and flew away. This will equal the 46 specimens we have remaining. In order to get S by itself, we need to use the inverse operation and add 10 to both sides. So we find that S equals 56. The class started with 56 butterfly specimens. Remember that you can pause and rewind this video as many times as necessary until you understand the process. Thanks for watching this episode of Conquering Math, where it all adds up. I'll see you next time.